Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I'm kind of late to the game on this new ICOM radio that is supposed to come out any minute. And this is a, a wideband receiver. It, uh, it replaces um, the previous Cadillac of ICOM as far as receivers. And um, it looks pretty nice. The big question is, how much is it going to cost? So here's the radio right here. This is the ICR8600. And uh, it's a wide, wide, wide band receiver. It goes from 10 kilohertz to 3 gigahertz. And it's packed with features. It has a 4.3 inch color touch screen and let's show you a little blow up here if i can find the right page here yep here's here's the brochure that they have available i wasn't able to find the um manual yeah i think it's out there someplace i just wasn't able to find it i don't think it has a video output of any kind be it um, HDMI or just plain video. So to me, that's a little bit of a drawback, but not a big deal. And the reason it's a drawback for me because I need something that's big, a big screen. <clears throat> but uh, this is, like I say, it's 4.3 inches across here. And uh, that should be pretty big. I uh, didn't see... Anything about overall dimensions, but I imagine it's fairly large. It's probably 10 inches across, I'm guessing. And um, it does have, it says, decodes multiple digital protocols, which includes D-Star. This is amateur radio stuff. And you get down here on the end, it says it decodes APCOP. 25. Now it doesn't say whether it decodes P P25 1 or P25 2. I believe the local police in my area is, have, they've gone to digital which is P25 but I think they are on P25-1 which means I would be able to listen to their transmissions. And uh, right now I don't have a radio that will do that. Uh, your typical scanner radio to do that is $400 or thereabouts. That's why I don't have one. Uh, and unfortunately, there's no radios on the internet um, that you can use a Windows, um, excuse me, a Android or Apple uh application to listen to it. There's one radio in Pinellas County, but it only has fire and EMS on it. It doesn't have police. So, this thing looks pretty sharp. They, um, they demonstrated it in Japan um, back in, I believe, November. There's a big trade show in November in Japan. I think it's in November. <clears throat> and they showed it. I think I have a picture of that. Well, here it is on Universal Radio. They're going to sell it. As of yet, they don't have a price either. And um, I know it's going to be way beyond anything that I can pay for. Uh, see, there's another page here. This is Gigaparts, another supplier. Uh, they have a setup where you can reserve one for $49. And then it says down here, if, if this radio is not approved by the FCC for sale in the United States, um, then you're, you're, you'll get a refund of your $49 that you tried to receive it. Let me see what other information they have on this website. Again, this is Gigaparts. Let's see, features, 
And that's the same thing that Icon on. Specifications, not much there. Reviews, nothing there. So still, there's not a lot of details. There's the back of it. Has numerous antenna connections. I believe one of these connections uh, is an IF output so that you could monitor that IF output with your SDR. It's kind of a strange way to do it, but it's possible. And then I think there's even a, um, this looks like a network port right here. And possibly mixed in here is a USB port. Maybe they'll have some software that comes with it. We will see. Okay. Oh, down here it says optional PC remote control software. Optional. It allows you to control all the receiver functions. Okay, so you can control it, probably display on your computer with this optional software. I'm thinking that it's going to cost a small fortune, and then why they won't include the software? I mean, that, that doesn't sound right. And here we have some discussions on radioreference.com about it. Here's a picture where it was shown at the um, show in Japan. And I'm not sure what, I think this is a transceiver. And you can see that it's a little smaller because it doesn't have any transmitter and any, you know, high powered circuits for transmitting, so it would be a little smaller. There's a close-up of it right there. It looks like it's about the size of my ICOM R71, which is still pretty good size. What else did I find? Let's see. Oh, here's an ICOM little blurb about their new radios. They've got several new radios coming out, including a new scanner, or they call it communications radio because it doesn't do, it scans, but it's kind of crude, uh, the R30. Well, that's a new handheld radio that's coming out. Notice they have this thing under glass. I don't want you to touch it. And I think I have one or two more. Here was an article. This is this is proof that I'm kind of late to the game. Um, this is an article on SWING. Um, I think this was posted. It's, it's one thing, I, and I've asked him about it. The one thing he doesn't do on his post, he doesn't date them. It, it would really be helpful if he would date his post. So I don't know when this was release but it's probably been a couple months ago let me see if i can see a comment down here that might have a date on it yeah here's a comment um january 22nd so that's about when this was probably posted so this was posted back in january so the information has been out there for quite a while and i'm just kind of late to the game here i um i got an email on one of my users group that mentioned this, and that's what prompted me to start looking it up and find out what's going on. So this is pretty cool. Um, I'm guessing $3,000 or more. Um, that's just a guess. The, um, the predecessor to this was about that price range, I think. Maybe not. No, I take it back. I think the predecessor was $1,500. So maybe this is only $2,000? Yeah, I'm guessing. If you have any guess of what the price might be, or if you know, uh, please leave it in a comment. Anyway, have a great day. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. That helps me know that you enjoy my shows. Bye-bye.